I speak to you today, America. Hell, even the world. Something awesome is going to happen. Dumb or cool stuff. Do good gaming. Hey guys, this is Dahmer's Cool Stuff, and this is part of the Repair Cleaning Shop series. This is what's going to be, what I'm going to refer to as a pro tip. If you remember some gaming magazines back in the day, I think it was Game Pro, yeah. Uh, they had these things called pro tips. And this is a pro tip about 2600 stuff. Alright, suppose you're at a flea market, you find a 2600. I got a four slaughter right here, this is mine. I've had it for about 10, over 10 years. Um, but it didn't come with a power supply, or I lost the power supply when I moved. What do you do with that? Now suppose you're at a flea market or a yard sale, and you see a 2600 Junior without a power supply as well. What do you do? This is what I did. Now, for this to be cheaper than normal, you're going to have to know somebody who works at Radio Shack. Uh, they have to be an employee there, and they have to like you. <laughs> um, the two parts, or three parts that I'm going to list, go in total for about $25 total. So you're going to have to, you know, figure that into the cost if you want to get this really cheap 2600 But if you do a friend, it becomes $13 or so, which makes it a lot more doable. So I went to Radio Shack because I worked there, and I picked up part number 273-355. That is a Intercell 9-volt, 800 mega milliamp power adapter. It is close enough to the 2600 and the 2600 Junior without blowing it up, so to speak. So it is close enough, it is fine. Now you're going to need a tip. The tip comes free <laughs> when you buy these. And that is tip F, part number 273-339. That's 273-339. That is a 1 8 or 3.5 millimeter adapter. That is what's going to plug into right here, into that porthole in the middle of not only the 2600, but the 2600 Junior. It's right here. Power. So now we have the power situation figured out. So now suppose it didn't come with that doohickey dongle thingy. And what you're going to get is an RCAF connector to coaxial cable. That is part number 2780255. It's an F connector male to an RCA female. That's going to plug in right here, or RCA to uh, coaxial cable line. That's going to plug in right here. Then the rest of it is going to plug into the uh, coax port, basically where the old cable ports used to be on your system or your console. So basically, you can now hook this up to your TV. But wait, say you want it swanky and gold, and you actually believe that the gold connectors make a better connection. That is part number 270. 0276. Same thing, but it's gold. That's going to run you, in total for those two items, about $25. Or closer to $13 if you know the employee there. If you know an employee there and you happen to be friends with. Atari 2600 Junior, this one doesn't have this part on it. What do you do? Well, if you're a retro collector, you probably have a ton of old school Nintendo RF adapters. Simply put, plug that into there, plug this into the TV, and your Atari 2600 Junior is now working. And if you're a collector, if you're a collector, you should have plenty of those lying around, or just use your uh, Nintendo one, and the cost for that will be zero. <laughs> Hopefully, these two, um, those little tips and tricks help you guys out in case you see stuff in the wild that might be a lot cheaper because it's missing certain things. This is Dollar's Cool Stuff, and as always, do good gaming.